Hey folks, Monkey King here, and today we're discussing how to connect your Xbox Series X or S controller to the PC. Uh, so there are three ways to do this. The first and most easiest way is for a wired connection. So what you can do for that one, for instance, is if I show you the controller here, you can see it right here. You'll see that there's a USB-C connection right here on the front. If you have a US, uh, if you have like the plug and play kit, or you have a USB-C connection, you can plug it into. Is it USB-C? Yeah, it's USB-C. Uh, you plug the wire into that and then the USB wire can then be connected straight into your PC and it will connect automatically but of course it will be just a wired connection so you'll need to make sure the wire is completely in. The second way is to do what we have here which is Bluetooth. So if you own a Bluetooth dongle on your desktop PC or laptop or if there's Bluetooth already installed please make sure hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. If you already have Bluetooth installed onto your PC or you have a dongle, you can effectively use Bluetooth to connect. And for this, it's pretty much simple. So we're going to add Bluetooth device, go to Bluetooth, and then we're going to hold the top wireless button until that comes up. And as you can see here, Xbox wireless controller 687A. And as you can see here, it's flashing and gone solid, which means now it has an Xbox controller. So I can use this Xbox controller now to play any Steam games that are compatible with it or any games online with this controller as and when I need to. So, yep, as you can see, we just click the done button. It's here, Xbox wireless controller 987 air paired, and it's done and ready to go, all good, or solid. If you don't have a wireless um, controller, you can also buy the Xbox wireless adapter from the Microsoft Store, which will then require you to turn on your PC, plug in the adapter, and just basically do what I just did but through the adapter instead of Bluetooth. Bluetooth is by far easy. I've got a small dongle here. In fact, I'll take it out of my computer to show you. It's literally just this. Like, as you just saw on my screen, now the Bluetooth dongle's gone. It's literally like the smallest. It cost me a couple of bucks, not much. And I plug it in, and as you saw plugged in, it's their desktop. And then we do just need to reconnect. So again, Bluetooth. Hold the button. Flash. Oh, is it because it's already connected? I think it's already connected. It's not going to work now, is it? <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea. Hold the button. So it starts to flash like that. And then it should be there. Don't know why it's not appearing now. Maybe it's just because it needs to connect. But I don't know. Anyway, guys, I do hope that helps you out. And as always, I will see you in the next video.